Good morning everyone, it's Jelani. The morning scripture came from Ephesians chapter 3 verses 16 to 21. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to thank you for another day that you have allowed us to wake up. Thank you for another day that you have set out and the path that you have set out for us. I just pray that we continue in it. Pray that we do not deviate at all as we pray for each and every morning. And dear Lord, our humbly requests and petitions, I pray that these are brought up to your throne. Because we earnestly ask of these things because we know that you are the only one able to grant us all that our prayers may be and um we just pray that um we do not pray amiss we pray that we pray according to your will because ultimately your will for our lives is what we want to be done because you are the only one that can comprehend all things and know the end of every single being you have created you know the end of us before we were even a thought or even conceived in our mother's womb so dear Lord, I just want to pray this morning that you continue to strengthen us, continue to guide us, continue to lead us, continue to give us boldness, continue to let us continue in the truth. Let us be led by your Holy Spirit. Let us be instructed in righteousness by your word. Let us not give up hope. Let us not give up faith. Let us not be troubled with any things or anything that is going to occur or come upon this world because you have given us foreknowledge of things which are to come to pass by your prophecies so when we see these things come into pass let us not become worried or troubled at the sight of them but let us continue boldly steadfastly in your love showing the light of Christ in this world of perverseness and darkness so this is why we pray and we come to you to each morning to ask that you lead us in spirit and in truth in the word that you have given us let us be able to partake in it as our daily bread and all of us build up in maturity to the meat of the matter and not dwell day by day just on milk because milk is for babes as you have said but strong meat is for those who are matured. So we just pray that we grow, each and every one of us. Yes, we started out as babes, each and every one of us, but let us be progressing and weed off the milk and come on to that true knowledge, which is found in you, Lord Jesus Christ. As always, I pray that you continue to help each and every one of us, especially our brothers and sisters in the faith, those who are going through persecution, affliction, grief, sorrow, or any such thing especially those who are going through it just because they name the name of jesus christ lord just help us that we do not faint nor become dismayed nor turn away or any such thing and we pray for our children that you continue to guide them continue to protect them continue to lead them in the way of truth help us to help them in this cause so that when they are of age they shall not depart from you but be wholly conformed to your image. And I thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for the day that is going to be ahead of us. Let it be productive, safe, and let us give glory and honor unto you with our mortal life. As we have been taught, let us do so in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Cool. All right. So Ephesians 3, 16 to 21 says that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that ye being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height and to know the love of Christ which passeth knowledge that ye might be filled with all 
the fullness of God. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. Unto him ye glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. Cool. This is a, a little um, snippet from what Paul the Apostle wrote to the Ephesians, right? And it is written that Paul was the minister of the gospel to the Gentiles. Right, and um, back in the day, let's just give you a brief history that um, the promises and all of those things were through a certain nation of people, which were the children of Israel, right? Because by them were the promises given. It was passed down from Abraham to Isaac to Jacob, who was um, named Israel. And then Israel passed on the blessings to his 12 sons, one of which was Judah, and um, the promise of the Messiah came through the line of Judah, right, by the seed of David. All right, so we can see that this, this, this sect of people were, were important to bring across the will of God. Nevertheless, when the will of God was accomplished through our, and by our Lord Jesus Christ, he made it so that all the world, through his infinite love, could come to him and come to the knowledge of him and come to be with him in his eternal kingdom if they accept and follow the teachings of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, right? So this knowledge was not always given to everyone. And if you read the, the entire chapter of Ephesians chapter 3, it shows you that this knowledge wasn't... Um, given to 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 the to the ones before christ it wasn't it wasn't readily mm, yeah mm, yeah it wasn't given right it was held back for a certain time but um obviously when christ came on the scene he fulfilled all things and was able to teach all things because he is the word of god god with us right and um i like how I like verse, I didn't read verse 15, but I like how it, it states it that of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. That shows us that we are all one big family in Christ, right? Whether you're born in Jamaica, whether you're born in America, England, Canada. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just naming the big, the big foreigns as uh, a Jamaican would know me at all. Right, um, whether you're born in Africa, in Europe, right, in Russia, in 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 Ukraine, bring up those two names because they are hot in the media now. Wherever you're born, as long as you acknowledge Christ Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and not just acknowledge, but you have, as we always say, do what He has taught us to do and what He has commanded us to do, and that is to love one another with our whole well what love him above all things right because that is how we know how to love is to love him with our whole being and in return love one another as he has taught us right this is what is going to fulfill this this charge and this is how we're going to be one family and this is how we're going to comprehend christ right when we do accept him and all of that he has promised us his Holy Spirit, what which 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 in, in dwell well dwell within us, indwell us, right? And the Holy Spirit is our comforter, as it said, he will bring he will bring all all things to remembrance, what we have been taught by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Also, that is the bond of peace in all of us, right? That which makes us all children of the most high God and family. That, as I said, that heavenly kingdom family of our Lord Jesus Christ, right? It is the one that strengthens us in our inner man. Um, it is what dwells in our heart by faith, right? We know the Holy Spirit he is God within us, right? And um, yeah, and it, as I just said, it, it, it allows us to comprehend those things which are 
hard to be comprehended by a mortal mind, right? Ex um, especially those things um, accounted to being spiritual things, right? And um, yes, although our God is infinite and his, the knowledge of him we cannot comprehend in its entirety, nevertheless, we have that link with him to understand him as much as he has given us um, permission through and by the Holy Spirit, which has been given to us um, by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, right? So yeah, I'll leave it at that this morning. Um, just a nice little spin-off. Um, you can read it for yourself as always, but um, anything that you want to send in, just send them into the word at eachreachone.org. And as much as the Lord has led me, taught me, and kept me over the years, I will answer them according to his word, principle, according to his will, being led by his Holy Spirit. So have a blessed day, everyone, and God's willing, we'll catch up again tomorrow.